Panthers Bears from Soldier Field. The Bears defense got the job done, namely the rookie safety out of Alabama. Roll Tide, Eddie Jackson returned a fumble, 75 yards for the touchdown, and he wasn't done in the second quarter. Jackson with the pick six, he returned his 76 yards. That was all the Bears need as they didn't really get much done offensively, only recording 153 yards and five first downs for the game. Bears top the Panthers 17-3. They've now won two straight. Dylan, how would you assess this Bears defense? Awesome. This was the best performance from the Bears defense we've seen all season long and really in a couple seasons. There's been flashes, but a complete performance like this, uh, you know, and, and we were sort of uncertain, at least I was, about this Panthers team. They started to look really good. They started to look like maybe the semblance of the team that went to the Super Bowl a couple seasons ago. Then they had that hiccup performance against Philly. And I, at that time, I thought it was – we learned more about Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles than really an indictment of Cam and the Panthers. But this performance, to only put up three points. Cam was running for his life. Great pressure put on by the front four uh, of this Bears team. And, and then ball hawking on the back end with Eddie Jackson really coming up big and him being the difference in this game. But, you know, whether it was sacking Cam, I really felt like they got to Cam and hurt him at one point. Okay. Uh, and, and that just had the whole Panthers offense so out of rhythm that the it, it really was wild to watch a defensive team and that unit dictate everything that was going on while they were on the field with the Panthers offense. Yes, Mitchell Trubisky and this Bears offense, still a lot of growing pain, still figuring it out. I, I, yet, I am continue to be impressed watching him make that adjustment from week one where he throws a terrible interception to give up the game against Minnesota For in his sure. first game. He's starting to tuck it. He's starting to throw it away. He's starting to take sacks the last couple weeks, and that's led to victories. Is it pretty? No. What do you think about just the seven pass attempts, though? You look at the box score, four of seven. It's weird. Did they take their foot off the gas? Were they a little bit too conservative? Definitely yes, 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 <laughs> and yes. And we talked about it. You know, at this point, the Bears are giving the Cliff Notes version of their playbook to Mitchell Trubisky because they just don't want to overwhelm him. They already feel like they're throwing him into the lion's den because there's not a lot of great skill set players around him to make him look better. That line can be porous at times. So the fact that they don't want to throw some gigantic playbook, yep. I think, is what we're looking at here. And I think he's really wants to master the plays they're giving him. And if the defense is playing like that, you don't have to get too crazy. You don't have to get too gimmicky and go deep into the playbook. You just don't want to make mistakes, and that's something that he was able to do for the second week in a row for this Bears team. Yeah, on defense, the second-year man, Leonard Floyd, to me, just continues to impress. He's a monster. You mentioned the, the pressure the Bears were getting on Newton, the fact that he was running him down. I think that this defense certainly is the strength of this team, the fact that they put up 14 points on the board. Mitchell Trubisky, though, three starts, the Bears 2-1. and one. That's a positive. Overall, Chicago 3-4. and four. Yeah. They're heading to New Orleans next week, a win, and the Bears could be at 500 Stadium. We're always on demand.